What? <laughs> They're such terrible friends. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's right. We had to meet someone important. Yes, great importance. God damn that music. <laughs> Yo, we're being watched. Is it someone we know? Is this, um, is this Abdul's dad? He's got the same hair, but white, like Joseph. <laughs> He's got the same build as Abdul as well. Hello, Abdul Senior. I get that. It's a nice island. Oh, yeah, I guess he wouldn't know. He saved your life. You tell him. You tell him what you did. But it feels like it. <laughs> Probably. Now they're going to meet literal babies and they're going to be like, it might be a stand user. So these subtitles call him Abdul, whereas the other ones said Avdol, I think. A V instead of a B. It's a stand. Throw it away. Throw it in the ocean. <laughs> of course it does. No, that doesn't mean it's worth anything. That just means it's a stand. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, it's not a stand. It's Aladdin. <laughs> well, Aladdin's genie. Oh, wow. I'm not original whatsoever. It's a stand genie. Why was that lamp just chilling there? Oh, okay. Okay. He got moves. It's always interesting to see how much we actually physically move when the stand is fighting. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Just in case it actually is real. He's like, all right, make me rich. I don't believe you, but make me rich. Why did they ever walk off by themselves at this point? Like all the stuff that happens and Polner is like, you know what? Let me go for a walk on the beach by myself. I'm sure I won't run into a stand again. Well, it made him rich at least. Which only means it's real. Did you have to be in a tree, dude? Is this almost going to be like screwing with our psychology? Like we've had 20 episodes now of just constant bad luck, constant things we don't think something's quite right and then it's not every single time it's not right so this will be really funny if the actual episode he's just genuinely a nice stand gives him three wishes and then bounces i hope that's the case because that would be brilliant of course a mangaka would I feel like all of Pol Pol's wishes are just Araki's wishes. Araki wanted to be a rich mangaka who has a girlfriend. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay. I was like, he can bring back Avdo, but oh, yeah, his sister as well. Are they really just going to bring two people back to life, though? I can't tell if this is a cop-out or not. He runs into a magic lamp that can bring people back from the dead. I mean, Avdol was awesome, so I hope he comes back. This is a pretty interesting method. Oh no, something's going to go wrong with Avdol, and it's not going to work. Oh, it's going to be some, like, creepy zombie version or something. He should have been more specific. Is it a zombie? Don't be a zombie, don't be a zombie, don't be a zombie. 
Please just be naked and don't be a zombie. Please just be naked and don't be a zombie. This is really interesting. Man, poor Polnareff. <laughs> They're like, he always does that. We're not even at a hotel this time. Well, sort of. To be determined. Please don't say he has to fight his sister. Alright. If I ever find a genie bottle, you gotta specify. Please bring them back from the dead, exactly as they were, right before they died. non zombified Damn, this score in the background is harrowing. Raki was like, oh, whoops, we almost went through the story without any dead animals. <laughs> okay. What is she, a damn werewolf or something? Dancing in the moonlight. Not a zombie. That's a plus. Imagine all this is just because she's naked. Like, it's totally fine. She's genuinely back from the dead. But she's, like, naked and insecure. <laughs> I really hope this whole episode is one big fake out. Even if I'm a big scary monster? That's what's going to happen, isn't it? Alright, you're really drawing this out. Is she fine or is she not? And the ball drops. Damn it, that was... Oh! Ah! A silver chariot! God damn it, I was really hoping... It honestly would have been a really good twist if it was just as normal. Like, it just worked. Would have been a great twist. But of course, she's a bloody vampire or zombie or some shit. What the fuck is this? This is not what I asked for. Do it properly this time. This might work out well, because this failed. But maybe we can course correct and bring Abdul back for real. Human. Not a zombie. Bro, you could have thought of something else more creative than that. I wish her to be a sane human being. <laughs> no, we get it. I immediately assume everything's a stand, so I got it. I'm so disappointed. It was setting it up so much like you think it's going to be the same as usual. You think it's going to be the same as usual. And guess what? It's actually all good. That would have been amazing. But no, we got to fight people. So that means they're all going to be evil. Yeah, pretty much. Once I asked you to make me rich and then you made me rich. I thought it was a possibility. Sorry for thinking you actually had good powers, you know? Oh god. Alright, now the most interesting thing about this episode is going to be, is this a one episode cameo from Abdul? Or are we going to be able to get him back for real? Let's find out. He's going to hug us. He's going to hug us. His face is totally fine. They hit his face like he probably has the same thing as his sister and then had him charge at us, right? What did they do with the sister? They made the sister seem all, all good and nice. And then surprise, she's a demon. So maybe it's the reverse. Maybe. It's just wishful thinking because I want Abdul back. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> uh... Ah, oh, damn it. Looks like a one-episode cameo appearance. I keep hoping for fake-outs, but never when I want them. Okay. Way to make me feel guilty. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, wow, we're getting double-teamed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Defend yourself! Okay, hey Jotaro Joseph, why do you keep letting Polnareff go off by himself? This happens 
literally every single time if i ever see ponov go off by himself again after this episode everyone on the team is officially a dumb fuck <laughs> yeah defend yourself dude acting like a helpless baby i guess it's a lot of psychological and emotional trauma right here so i guess it's understandable <laughs> oh god what the fuck are we in a dream because he's about to die yeah clearly jotaro and joseph have the worst hearing skills and can never hear any of this shit eaten to death by my dead sister and friend what a way to go all right, I gotta look up real quick. Is it Abdul or Avdol? It's Avdol. That makes me question the subtitles a little bit. Wait, because apparently his name is technically after Paula Abdul. <laughs> what? Why would he? Yeah, I don't know what a rocky is on, but I want to smoke some of that. <laughs> but it is officially Abdul. I guess my uncensored subtitles doing some changes. This piano in the background? Jojo has a lot of different scores. It's really cool. The death of Polnareff. What? Yeah, impossible. Impossible is correct. I swear to God, if this is the real one. <laughs> no way he's back. Is this part of the wish? What's going on? Okay. Me too, I guess. Me too. I like how her zombie sister is just there, just chilling. She's like, oh, this is interesting. Let me watch. Right. Holy shit. Did we bury him? Wait, so this isn't a recreation of Avdol at all. This is just the genuine Avdol who we thought died, and then he traveled and found us? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> that does actually make sense, the way his face angled and the bullet hit. I need some, I need some more explanation before you do that. We're so back. We're back, baby. Andy can give you wishes if you like. Oh yeah, the sister's still here. Look, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I forgot you're here. Well, I guess the sister ain't coming back to life. Oh, that's multiple layers of weird. Is she eating him still? Good work, Popo. Ooh, that looked badass. Get out of here. You ain't beating Magician's Red and Silver Chariot combined. Oh, I totally, totally misread that situation. Huh? Hey, that's cheating. Everybody knows that's cheating. That's always against the rules. I wish for infinite wishes. <laughs> Magician's Red is so back. So sick. No, no, no. <laughs> Still can't quite get my head around Avdol's back. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because I'm like, how did he get here? Imagining he had to go through all these crazy scenarios like we did. But no, you can just travel like on a plane like we tried to initially. Oh, have you scream in terror? And my third wish is for you to, to, to sob with regret. What? Not as cool. That was a, a weird ending. <laughs> sob with regret. 
is in the ground, using it to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was hoping they'd have fun with it. A lot of shows wouldn't, but JoJo's will. <laughs> Surely this guy would know by this point. No fucking way. That's even beyond what I was thinking. Welcome back, Avdol. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he Avdol was the one to suggest this. Yeah, that is not like Avdol at all. Oh my. Did they have to show it? But he turned him into Popo. <laughs> That's Mr. Popo. Oh. A reunion scene? No way. He's like, you'll never believe this. I guarantee it. Oh, please don't be like his imagination. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's his imagination. No? Oh, thank God. Unless it still is. Can he see him? Only he can see him. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Oh, Avdol went and saw them first. Then he went to find Polnareff. I think reunion scenes like this are really hard to write. So, so many shows and movies will do something like this to circumvent it. Because otherwise they'd have to have all this emotion and like disbelief and like, oh my God, you're alive. They'd have to have, it'd be a whole thing, you know? So, so many shows will like, do something like this to where they skip it and it's so annoying because they could be the most dramatic scenes but writers hate writing them for some reason oh what what yeah me too polnareff this is what <laughs> i was gonna be like what are the odds they got the same hairstyle but that's just like you know cartoon stuff anime stuff they always have the same i said he had the same build as well wow they went through the effort of putting old man makeup on oh yeah no biggie wait <laughs> Polner thought he was the reason that oh, they're such terrible friends. Holy shit. It's just all kind of computing at once in my brain. He felt responsible for his death. He had all that trauma from the guilt of thinking he got Avdol killed. And he's just been alive this whole time. They are terrible friends. Terrible. That's, I'm like, that's, <laughs> the enemy's already known everything anyway like everywhere they go they get trapped and attacked like that's that's bs reasoning did iraqi did he genuinely kill him and then he had to retroactively bring him back if it's like a known thing that he was he got killed and then there was like fan outcry or something and then he brought him back because this reasoning is pretty stupid to be honest Is my sister really alive as well? You guys brought my sister back to life and didn't tell me about it. A submarine? Did you triple check that it's not a stand? Triple check. Please. Wow, that is, what a crazy episode. That was insane. Just as like being a TV viewer, I guess, I would say if I was to make a guess that Araki retroactively brought him back and this this wasn't like a planned out thing he was like you know what Abdul was cool or the fans were like what the hell something like that and they brought Abdul back and that was the reasoning they he came up with because they didn't really seem too thought out have everyone be like oh yeah we didn't want to tell you because you're a loud mouth like okay <laughs> but in spite of all that we got Abdul back 
we get to see Magician's Red again and again now. That's the main thing. That's what counts. We got two more episodes for the Road to Egypt. So if you want to watch those, click here.